It's Australia versus Kenya, the winner to play New Zealand in the Cup semi-finals later at the Gold Coast. And Sean McMahon, like he's been doing all tournament, winning those restarts for the men in gold. So a good early opportunity as Holland now gives it to Lucas. He pops it back and it came off one of the Kenyan players. And uh, that's going to work out for the Australians because the man receiving the ball was in front. And there is Mike Friday. The new coach of this Kenyan team. They finished 12th in the last HSBC Sevens World Series. It's a Crouch. new look side, three debutants, and this Australian touch. team. In the starting seven, they've got two 18 year olds, Sean McMahon and Ellen Alal Val. There's a 19 year old, Lewis Holland, 20 year old, Matt Lucas. And now this is Palmer Foul. Got away from one, two. He's about five metres out. The Australians looking for the perfect start. Padahi. Gives it out now to Torpoy. There's McMahon running into a solid tackle. Maybe they should have gone wide, but they've got numbers here on the right. But Lucas is going to try and step his way through. And Lucas try between the sticks for Australia. Short in stature, but great lateral movement. And um, when he gets himself against the bigger man, you don't often get matchups in um, sevens because everyone's fleet of foot but he was first off little scrum left the forwards just standing around the edge there of that that breakdown and that gave him that one-on-one -on -one opportunity and now he'll just knock it over and convert his own try great start from australia seven nil australia over kenya the man on screen has signed with the new south wales waratahs for super rugby in 2013 so he's only available for this tournament brother Ben Lucas plays for the Queensland Reds in Super Rugby and has been a Wallaby purist so there's not a lot of uh, harmony in the Lucas household at the moment. Two brothers playing for different franchises. I say that as a joke. I'm sure they get on very well but uh, on the field it could be interesting. A lost forward decision there by the referee going against Australia. Big day, big day. Yesterday, the Australians did not kick once in general play. Okay. Sevens, all about controlling Crouch. possession. And it paid off for them. Sit. So Kenya, what can they do with it? One Jala, put it uh, through their hands. It's good defence in midfield by Australia. Uma. There's a turnover, is it? Yes. McMahon. They get it out quickly now. Padahi, big strong runner. Check one. Lucas sizing up the options. Tulpo. Jordan Tulpo from the Ball. East Club in Brisbane, not too far away from the Gold Coast. And a good drive here, but they're going to have to use it. Well, good work by Kenya. They're able to hold the Aussie up. Strong side, strong physical team. Kenya, they've worked really hard on their conditioning, their, their, particularly their strength work. A lot of, little bit of work left to do to get them um, with the type of conditioning Mike Friday Crouch. wants, but he's pretty impressed with how they've started off. Touch. Because in four to six weeks, they're going to be Sit. on fire. Bonjala handing it off. So Kenya. Trailing at the moment. This is Davis Chenge. And it's been stolen by Australia. McBarn gives it out to Lucas. He turns it back in. Oh, was that the right option? It's a advantage rule here being played for Kenya. Stolen by Australia. Will come back. Lost forward. Lost forward the call. Well, there's a sad sight for. The Australian fans, Ed Jenkins, he is stripped down into his playing gear, but he is sporting a sore shoulder. Shannon Walker alongside him. Looked good in defence so far, Australia. They've really pressed forward hard against the Kenyans. The Kenyans are struggling to get out of their own half. Maybe I'll think about long kick. There's a double round now for Adema. And Jera. Oh, Great just pulled tackle. down. Where's the support? There it is there. Well, they're not going to catch him. Terrific reply. Oscar Umar. 
his 14th event. Well, that's what they can do right between the sticks. Right time, Kenya. It's a little simple run around in the midfield. First man to the second man. First man just loops around. Just watch it here. Bad read in defence. Dupo gets caught coming in. Nice ball, great tackle to, to make that desperation. And then it's just the good support coming up the middle of the field. Oscar Uma did well. High five is all round for Oscar. It has been converted. We see replay of the conversion from right in front. Pico Adima. We're locked up at seven all in the cup quarter final. First time that the Indians really applied the pressure. And as you can see, their fans are dancing in the stands on the Gold Coast. Odima with the restart. Some great battles over the years, these two teams to take from Jesse Parahi. Lucas straightens. Pull down from behind by Tenga. Now it's pass for Odahi. And now Palma foul. To the halfway. Quick recycle. Thorpe Lucas. Lewis Holland. Giving it back to Sean McMahon. Bounced out of the tackle of Oscar Umar. Penalty against Kenya. Physical McMahon into the contact, isn't he? Well, he's a star of the future. He's a star now, in fact. Only 18 years of age. Made his debut at this tournament last year. Lucas. And Holland double round with Lucas. And out the back it goes to Alan Fahala. Laval. Into the 22. Half-time siren sounds. And you have to be careful here on, the, on defence. On. Penalty. It goes against Australia holding on. So the Kenyans will have the last say in this first half. Will they have a crack or are they? Yes, they will. So now the Australians will have to muscle up on defence. Still there for Kenya. And the dummy there is a Monday captain. Held up. It's a mall. It's a mall. Choose a rent. I didn't use it. So that will be a half time in this last of the cup quarterfinals on the Gold Coast. And we're locked up. And an arm wrestle, seven all, Australia and Kenya. Sense that the Aussie fans in the crowd are quite nervous. So much expected of this young team after their three from three record on day one. Again, a good take from McMahon. They go to the short side. Bill Pope pulled out from behind. Quick recycle. Lewis Holland. Out to Alalval. Over to Palmer Fowl. And the recycle was pretty quick. The bounce pass was okay in the end for McMahon. And now Matt Lucas, the playmaker. Out of heat, turning it back. And the support player is pretty good. That's a 10-meter mark, Kenyan territory. Advantage goal. Offside. Advantage being played here for Australia. Advantage over. Advantage is over. McMahon, nowhere to go. Holland the two point. Now, Matt Lucas. Oh, oh, oh. Pocket rocket. And he's got Matt Lucas with him, but good defence by the uh, Kenyans. It was Michael Wanjala that shut it down. Had some numbers on the far side, and Holland's going to straighten it. Where's the support? He gets to his feet. Still there for Australia. They go to the right. Palmer foul. Stepping, and away he goes. Palmer foul. That should give them more confidence and gets the crowd going a little bit as well as the Australians hit the lead again 12 points to 7
Nice build up for that try. Palmer Fowl ended it. Straight did well to retain possession. Guys working really hard off the ball, and it was just the Kenyans unable to keep sliding in defence. They defended very, very well in periods of that section. The first two minutes, Australia really in possession of the ball. Nice step from Palmer Fowl, just that split step. And um, took the Kenyans by surprise. Important kick from Matt Lucas. Right in front of the post, should have no problems with it. Converts it comfortably. 14 points to seven. Try and score a Palmer Fowl, 22 years of age. Made his debut at this tournament last year. Plays for the GPS club in Brisbane. Still a long way to go, though. And works out OK in the end for the Kenyans. And here's a bit of a breakout over on the far side from Mbaka. Penalty to Kenya. Where you are? Here, here, here. So a chance for the Kenyans to hit back here. Switch of play from Adima working over to the left. Adima into scrum half. Baka Wunjala and the overlap here. The pass was not good, but the bounce was good for Collins in Jura. Got away from one, two, and he is so dangerous. So Collins in Jura, yet another five-pointer to his credit. Well over 140 tries. 143rd, in fact, in the HSBC Sevens World Series. So they hit back immediately. Oh, he's the he's a finisher of the highest order. Collins in Jira just sizes up, threatens the unit away. And Matt Lucas says he's going to come off the right foot, goes off the left. Nicely balanced running. I thought both of those players should have a big kick here. This to tie the match up. Really important pressure on. He go Adima. It's a good one. It's over, and it's 14 all. Australia and Kenya, and a lot of the Kenyans can go with them. And there's an interesting substitution. Collins Endura has been the sub, so he's on the bench at 14 all. On Friday, said at half time, the Australians look tired. Matt Lucas has left the field as well. It's a treatment after missing the tackle in Endura for the try. So Friday thinks Australia are tired. See if we've got the juice left in the tank. Well, Shannon Walker is on there, and that's a poor pass out to Alaoval, and the Indians come up on him, and he's going to have to take the tackle on the 22. Just looking a little nervous as well, the Australians. It's a young team. Miller back to Walker. Pause out. Will Miller in four, replacement. He's the man that was player of the day for the Australian schoolboys last year when they beat... New Zealand and there's a little mistake that will put some pressure on the Australians now. That's fatigue, Clarky. That's what does it to you. Three errors for Australia. Costly. Just that little, little knock on. You gotta pick that ball up the bench. They know how important that was. Get that little a little bit of fatigue in the body. You don't quite bend as easily. You've got to pick the ball up. Sloppy. Passes Australia. Nice as many. Crouch. So Kenya with a real opportunity. And Ed Jenkins Touch. is on there now. The shoulder will be hurting, but the captain looking for a captain's knock. And out the back door it goes, and Adima has it. So over on the far side, it's on Bucky. Cannon Walker made the tackle. Pops out and it's still there for the Kenyans. It's locked up at 14 all. We'll go to extra time. And Monday is there, the captain. Work it to the right. Heard the coach at half time, the Kenyan coach saying, I want you getting it wide and then he thinks that the Australians are tied. He wants them to hit the gaps. 
And they go to the short side again through Mbaka. 30 seconds remaining. Wide ball now. Amonde stepping. Cutting back in. James just trying to force the mistake. Mbaki. Not held. Not held. Back to Wanjala. And now Amonde. Amonde! And he's got men on the outside. Ed Jenkins, the captain. Ed Jenkins! He's not going to get there. Runaway try, Dennis Mbaki. Well, it's a boil over, you would have to say. The Australians, three from three yesterday for this young team. Oh, they have run out of petrol in Kenya. Well, they've spoiled the party somewhat at the Gold Coast. Look at the dejection there for the Australians. 15-14 winners over Fiji in the final game yesterday. And now, yes, it's celebration time. Dennis Mbaki. Oh, the heartbreak. Ken the Kenyan crowd are loving it, aren't they? They've, they, were, they were really good with the ball in that last little section. They just worked Australia laterally, were held onto it, patient with the ball, and it's too much pace in the end. And uh, real heartbreak for the Australian side. The well-deserved from the Kenyans. Here's yeah. the kick. Last play of the game. It's a great kick as well. Well, that puts the icing on the cake. Kenya. Oh, aren't they happy? The new coach, Mike Friday, former England Sevens captain and coach, is absolutely delighted. He was full of talk at halftime, thinking his side had more petrol in the tank, and he was right in the end. So final score, Australia in their home tournament knocked out at quarter-final time, so they will go through to one of the secondary 